Welcome to Mami Talks with me, Catherine Karongo, a weekly YouTube channel where we'll be focusing on all matters maternal health, from high blood pressure in pregnancy, pregnancy-induced heart failure, how to breastfeed your baby, how to dress during pregnancy, exercising during pregnancy, and so much more. In today's episode of Mami Talks, we are joined by Dr. Sikolia Wanyoni, a gynecologist obstetrician at the Aga Khan University Hospital, to expound more about high blood pressure in pregnancy. In your 15 years of um, practice, you must have come across very many cases, or yeah, some cases of women who are struggling with high blood pressure during pregnancy. I know cases are unique and specific to an individual, but obviously there are similarities. How can you describe the journey that these women go through? The first thing is to, important to note that high blood pressure it's actually one of the commonest conditions that we see in pregnancy and uh, unfortunately it remains one of the biggest causes of uh, maternal uh, deaths and also it affects the baby uh, significantly. So to answer your question, the journey through high blood pressure is actually quite, uh, it can actually be very difficult. There are two uh, types of uh, high blood pressure in pregnancy that you talk about. There is one that is pre-existing. Uh, what you mean by that is that uh, you went into pregnancy uh, when you already have high blood pressure. So you are hypertensive, then you conceive. And then there is uh, the other type which, we, which is uh, induced by the pregnancy. So you get, you become pregnant and the pregnancy state uh, makes you become uh, develop high blood pressure. So those are two different entities. Now the first one tends to be quite uh, subtle and it well managed and well controlled before you become pregnant. It is not as uh, stormy. Uh, the other one which develops as a result of uh, a pregnancy uh, can be quite stormy because there's a variant of it which is called uh, preeclampsia. So preeclampsia basically is high blood pressure developing for the first time during pregnancy and usually after 20 weeks of pregnancy. We see so many medical terms being used. There is high blood pressure, there is um, elevated blood pressure, there is hypertension. Are they used interchangeably or is there a difference? Yeah, absolutely, those are just the same terms used uh, differently. So elevated blood pressure is high blood pressure, it is hypertension. So if you lean towards Latin, you call it hypertension. Just a normal guy, you call it elevated blood pressure. What would make a mother who has never had a history of blood pressure, high blood pressure, develop high blood pressure during pregnancy? Yeah, so very good question because um, there are some risk factors that we consider and uh, this is actually part of our uh, interrogation for a mother who comes to us for the first time. So we are looking at uh, things like age, uh, women who are above the age of 40, are at high risk. Women who are having the baby for the first time are at a higher risk than those who've had several babies. We're talking about a woman who's having her subsequent baby after a long period, and uh, uh, by this I mean about 10 years, 10 years or more. When you're looking at women who are obese, there's BMIs of above 30. We are looking at uh, women who are smokers. We are looking at women who have other medical conditions like uh, uh, kidney disease. So all this and many other medical conditions can actually predispose a woman who was otherwise having normal blood pressure, develop blood pressure during pregnancy. And the other important thing is uh, twin pregnancies. Uh, twin and uh, uh, this assisted pregnancy, what you call IVF, the test to baby. So you conceive that way, you also have an increased risk of developing uh, high blood pressure during pregnancy. And does it have any effect on the unborn child? Yes, it does have, uh, it does affect the unborn child. So when a woman develops high blood pressure, we are torn between uh, two patients. So maintaining the well-being of the mother 
and also at the same time maintaining the baby so that the baby can survive to maturity. The commonest effect on the baby is uh, effect on growth. So uh, high blood pressure does, it reduces the amount of blood that flows to the placenta. So the baby is, uh, does not get a good nourishment. And as a result of that, the baby becomes small. So they do not grow as uh, required. Uh, the other thing is uh, there's a very high risk of uh, these women developing uh, detachment of the placenta. So the placenta can separate prematurely. And this can actually lead to the baby dying. And uh, the other effects on the mother, uh, like the effect on the kidney or the liver, can also affect the baby. And uh, actually, this is one of the commonest causes of uh, babies dying in the womb uh, before maturity. So how do you manage this so that it doesn't affect, uh, it doesn't interfere with the growth of the fetus? Unfortunately, high blood pressure that develops as a result of pregnancy uh, is a continuing uh, disease, so to speak. So the moment you develop it, then we can only uh, stabilize. So our aim is usually is to stabilize the mother. Uh, how to prevent uh, the effect on the baby at uh, the moment uh, is very difficult. So you'll stabilize the mother and hope that by stabilizing the mother and maintaining the mother in good health, you will give the baby a chance to grow. So the how whole issue is about the yes, the whole issue is about pushing the pregnancy. So stabilizing the mother is ensuring that the blood pressure is controlled. Through medication? Yeah, through medication. So you control it through medication. Uh, and then frequent monitoring uh, to ensure that uh, you do not have the other organs like the kidneys and the liver being affected. So is it possible to carry a pregnancy to full term with hypertension? No, currently it's not recommended. Actually, uh, it's recommended that uh, when you have hypertension, uh, the moment the you reach 37 weeks, which is full term, which is term, not full term, uh, then we go ahead and deliver, considering everything else was okay. And is it possible for a mother to develop um, high blood pressure in one pregnancy, but carries another pregnancy without any problems? Yeah, yeah, that's very possible. One, it could be just natural, as I said, uh, first pregnancies tend to be prone to hypertension and that means it tends to give you some protection uh, during the subsequent pregnancy. The other thing it could be as a result of intervention. So nowadays what you are doing is when you come for the first visit and interrogate you and we discover that you are prone to develop hypertension, then we institute some uh, prevention uh, measures, There's some drugs that we will give you that will reduce your risk of developing preeclampsia or hypertension in that particular pregnancy. And I've seen some mothers fear getting pregnant again after suffering from high blood pressure. Is it safe to carry another pregnancy? Yeah, you can carry another pregnancy. So all you need to do is to visit your health uh, practitioner. You need to visit your obstetrician, your midwife, and uh, discuss, first of all, the timing. I mean, after having high blood pressure in the first pregnancy, then uh, your risk increases eight times in the subsequent pregnancy. So one of the ways to go about that is to allow your body to heal. And uh, the majority of women uh, do carry successful non-blood uh, pressure pregnancy in the uh, subsequent pregnancies. And are there any symptoms that a woman can look out for to know that uh, yeah, I could be developing high blood pressure? Again, unfortunately, no. Actually, <laughs> one of the fights we usually have with uh, women coming to our clinics is a uh, woman comes and you do have blood pressure and you tell her it's 170 or about 10. You need to admit you and she tells you, I've been feeling absolutely fine, why admitting you? So, unfortunately, high blood pressure does not present with symptoms initially. So most of the time the symptoms come late when it's already severe. 
and the severe signs uh, that uh, symptoms that we tell you to watch out for are things like uh, severe headaches. So you may be pregnant, sometimes you have mild headaches, but if you develop severe headaches that require, that do not respond to normal vegetation, or you develop uh, severe heart burns yeah, that do not respond to the usual uh, antacids, or pain on the right side of your abdomen, on the right upper side of your abdomen, then those are signs that things are not good. And the last one is you may see starring in the eyes, yeah? So when you look outside, all you're seeing is stars, then uh, you should suspect that things are not good and have your blood pressure checked immediately. And are there any recommendations once a mother is diagnosed with high blood pressure? Are there any recommendations you make other than the medication that you provide? What other recommendations are there? Um, the, uh, besides the blood pressure, we, we advise rest. It's controversial whether uh, resting does, uh, bed rest does help. We advise you to rest, not necessarily to lie in bed throughout the day, but uh, um, try and uh, minimize uh, your physical activities and interaction as much as possible. And uh, of course diet, you want to avoid things like high salt intake and the like, maintain a healthy diet, uh, exercise during pregnancy. Uh, those may help you, may help us besides the medication to control the blood pressure adequately. And your cutting shot? Um, high blood pressure remains a major concern to us uh, obstetrician, uh, especially uh, in pregnancy. And uh, what people need to know is that uh, we are able to accurately identify those women who are at risk and uh, institute measures that can prevent uh, the development of uh, high blood pressures in pregnancy. For those who have high blood pressure, it's always advisable to seek early obstetric care so that your pregnancy is optimized to the end. Thank you very much. Join us again for our next episode where we'll be joined by a cardiologist to delve more into pregnancy-induced heart failure, a condition that's associated with high blood pressure during pregnancy. On this whole journey, I was the smiling part. By the way, you could come see me in CCU, and I'm wondering why are you guys all stressed, by the way? <laughs> I could smile, I could even pray and encourage all of you. But that day, I remember saying I have the mature cup, I believe. Always advised, if you have this problem, stay with your doctor. Sometimes I tell them to the mothers, it is better to stay with the child that you have, that you have, and to risk for another one which you do not have, which may cost you your life and deny your other child a uh, mother. Until then, stay safe and sanitize. Remember to subscribe to the channel using the subscribe button below, and also you could ring the bell so that you can get notifications whenever we upload new content. Thank you and goodbye.